All right, back to basics now. I'm going on to Killer. Pay attention to the title, it's very important. Killer. That's probably and most likely how you're going to win. And this is the other important text right here. Win the game this turn. It will sometimes have different conditions. But uh, for now, that's the most common one. So now let's take a look at this in detail. Quick summary of the board. I have one health, that puts me in a bad position. It's irrelevant because the enemy would be able to kill me next turn anyway. Uh, the enemy has 8 life. They have a blocker out, a 4-4 copper elite, with Aegis and Overwhelm. Pay attention to Aegis here, because uh, that will change how I am able to play the game here. Alright, so I have this Ancient Terrazon, which is an 8-8. It can't be damaged. And I have a 5-1 unblockable. Now, before looking at my cards, if I just attacked all out, you can probably guess what the enemy's going to do. They're not going to block this 5-1 because they can survive with 5. If they block this, they're okay. If they block with this, then the 8-8 will hit them and they'll have 0 life and they'll die. Okay, so I can't just attack all out. Oh, well, they can't block that anyway. Because it's unblockable, right? <laughs> but you know what I mean, like, even if this was a 5-1 blockable, they could still survive just by blocking this. And then kill you the next turn, so that's the challenge. Alright. My units get plus one, plus one. Does that help me? Um, this would be a 6-1. A 6-2, and this would become a 9-9. Nine, nine. They would still block this. And they would only be taking six damage. They still would survive. So what's up? I don't even really need to look at this card. You can they they put dummy cards in your hand just to simulate like just to force you to eliminate bad choices early on, and then figure out which of the better choices is best. So I have a teleport, put a unit into its owner's hand, and a Zen an initiation. Now, in normal cases, this would be great because then. I would just return the Copper Hall Elite to the hand. Oh, but wait. It didn't go back into his hand. Why not? Ah, Aegis. So if you're, you know, if you're new to the game and <laughs> you have to keep that in mind, right? I mean, sometimes you just have a, you know, kind of a brain lapse. And, uh, <laughs> you just go to attack the unit you forget it has Aegis and boom your spell just got negated by a shield. I mean of course the enemy player can have Aegis, the uh, units can have Aegis and you can have the same. So the unit didn't go anywhere, I used up my power and now I'm in the same situation. If I attack I will die. So let's restart that. So that leaves only one more card to look at here. Here we go. Uh, right, so I have to choose. Now, the thing with it being a puzzle is I know for sure that one combination of something will have me win the game. That is different than if you're playing a human player. You don't know if this is going to help you. But, you know, you got to put your brain in the pressure cooker and come up with solutions. When you're playing the human player, you don't have the time to really think a lot about uh, what you can respond to because you got a you got a they got a timer and you got that timer. So if you spend too long, the timer's counting down, and you might be able to get in about two really good thinks into a game, meaning you have two moments where you could really think about your next move. Where that's when you start really like um, summoning the timer down. So. At least with puzzles, you have time to think. It doesn't really reflect the game environment that you'll be facing, but it will give you tools to uh, use later on. So that's what this is designed for. Just put, putting your brain outside of the box so that if when you are in the field of battle, at least you can try to bring it up a little quicker. All right, so do I put killer on this or this? Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, uh, I don't want my uh, Cabal Rogue to die. If I kill this, like if I use Killer on the Cabal Rogue, 
Um, it will kill the Copper Holly, but then I lost my Cabal Rogue. I mean, like, I, I don't want to lose my unit, right? I, I want to keep this alive, because if I use Killer, it's going to block. Um, so what I want to do, actually, is I, you know, I'm thinking, like, oh, okay, I'll just put the Killer on this uh, Terrazon, because that way my Terrazon survives and my Cabal Rogue um, also survives. But then you just end up back at square one, right? You're just, you're just right back at it where you're going to attack with two units of effectively, and this unit is blocking the same one, and you you haven't got anywhere. You're just only going to be doing uh, six damage to the enemy, and they're going to torch you or whatever next turn. Doesn't matter what they've got, they're going to kill you. So, by deduction, that leaves you with this. So now you've got killer on here. And you don't have killer on there, so that you know you just attack. And oh look, your path is wide open. And you have completed the puzzle. Congratulations. Now onto the next puzzle. <laughs>